Hello and welcome to Civilization V with Top Hat Gaming. I'm playing as Ramses II of the Egyptian Empire. Let's get in the game and let's kick some butt. And right away we're gonna found our city of Thebes and explore. And let's zoom out a little bit. That's a little better. And we should definitely start off with a scout and try to find as many ancient ruins as possible. And I also want to start off with mining because, very fortunately for us, we started right next to marble. And I want to get that as soon as possible. Alright, these initial turns are very slow. Oh no. Because there's not really much going on. Frankly. That would have been a good place for a city right there. It's on a hill, so it's easier to defend. You get to go off in three different directions with, with uh, a navy. Okay. So I gotta stamp those guys out right away. This looks like a neat little starting area. I mean, naval siege later in the game is going to be a pain in the... But... Oh man. That's pretty scary. Okay, there's our scout. So let's get this guy off of automation and get the scout over here. Like ASAP. Oops. I'm on a monument. Or actually, we're about to have mining. We need a worker. Because as soon as we can, I want to start building wonders. That's why I picked Egypt. I just want to wonder spam this game away. Minor defeat. What the hell? Okay. So move you there. Move you there. Next turn. But not its mineral rights. And don't worry about the audio quality. Very shortly, I will be getting a microphone, and uh, we won't have any issues with it. Hopefully. <laughs> getting a um, a blue snowball microphone. I mean, it's no Yeti, but it'll do the job. Okay, so let's go for the pyramids first, because I am Egypt after all. And damn it, I want some pyramids. I mean, this doesn't exactly look like the Nile River, but... Whatever. It'll work. Day. There we go. <laughs> so now I've got a half dead scout and a half dead warrior. Then back on explore. Get out of here. Go find something. Oops. I love the fog of war. It just looks so awesome. It's a very nice touch. And it, it even leaves a bit of a shadow. Well, I mean, that's just from me not seeing that area, but still. It looks like a neat shadow. No, it looks good. It looks good. I think, I think my first city that I build, I mean, aside from this one, um, so I can get these pearls and get this wheat here, will probably be right here. 
Yeah. Or maybe just to allow easier access for navy so I can get out this way or this way and might build the city here or here. Who knows? I gotta get this guy to go around and scout out that area better. But uh, until then, we'll adopt a policy. And tradition seems to be the best one for Egypt because it has, excuse me, it has um, production and uh, for wonders and um, culture. I don't know. I guess it's the best for Egypt because Egypt is in the background. <laughs> That's my reasoning. Okay, I'll be honest. That's my reasoning. Wow, it's already 1 a.m. Who would have guessed? Alright, Jabam. Get back exploring. These are some really weird islands. They're just like snaky. And, uh, oh, I'm just gonna branch off over this way. Don't mind me. Oh, I'm gonna branch back this way. It's cool. Be cool if it spelled something. Oh, more ones. Alright. You gotta love that noise. It's like you just come to the house. How happy are those whose walls already rise? Right. <sighs> More population. Population's always great. And um Ooh, Temple of Artemis. I want that. Gimme. But I also want Stonehenge. That's a tough decision. Oh well, I've already made a commitment to the Temple of Artemis, so we're gonna go for that. And... The Pyramids, of course. And my worker. If you would, sir, please begin construction of the quarry. Oh yeah, that's helping out really nice. And in a couple turns, we'll have this marble here. It'll improve our happiness. It'll improve our wonder construction. It's looking pretty good for Egypt right now. Wow, who's already got more money than me? That's not cool. Uh -huh. That'll come in handy later. Ooh, I definitely need animal husbandry. That's right, because I have all the sheep. Alright, we're nearing the pyramids now. Whoops. That's a bad habit. Gotta stop that. What happened? Thou shalt not. What happened? Yep, sorry about the lag. I'm actually uploading uh, some Guild Wars 2 footage it took to YouTube, so... Well... So that explains the lag, I guess. Okay. Um, oh, good, good. Now I can improve these sheep tiles. Oh, I, I discovered this the other day. You can actually press G, and it gets rid of the grid. Isn't that neat? I like to play with the grid on, because it kind of shows you, like, which tile is which. I had a problem with that when I started the game um, about a month ago, I believe. Actually, no, it's been almost three months. Wow. I've had this for a while. I, I got it in a Steam sale. It was, like, 12 bucks. And I, I was like, well, I can't refuse that. So, it looks pretty good, either way. I prefer to have the grid on because you can see, you know, which tile is which and who's where. But this is pretty good too. I'll keep it like this for a while. Yeah, make the pasture in the next turn. those pyramids.
I had of explorable areas. So that happened. Oops. Well, I forgot I had my steam button as the up button. It's one of my least used keyboard buttons. Or, or keys, as they are actually called. I need some sleep. <laughs> I shouldn't be recording so late. But I just couldn't wait. I like culture. Hmm. Well, I don't really have any enemies right now, so I think legalism is the way to go. And uh, I guess you can chill out, maybe fortify. That'll work. Did it really? Yeah, I really did discover everything I could. Alright, you fortify as well. Just a couple more turns and I'll have those pyramids up. And I think my first move, as soon as I get sailing, will be to go over here and see exactly who that is. Where our neighbor is. Howdy, neighbor. Spamming is super fun. It just is. Everybody else hates it, but it's so awesome. So I've got all these places I can put cities. I mean, if I really wanted to. I could put, you know, like a city here and a city here. Actually, no, there's not enough room there. But, um, I could put one, like, right there. And, hold on. Let me get the grid back up. One there. And, no, that's, that's too close still. So I could, I could put a city, like, in the middle of this and then have all these tiles to work. me a pasture. The classical era. I'm ready. Looks like somebody's already ahead of me in science. It's okay. I'll go for a cultural victory. I'm a third policy. One gold and minus one unhappiness. Ooh, this one gets me growth. I like growth. Let's get the growth. And I don't know. I guess I'll build a mine here or something. Does that allow me to embark? No, it's optics that gets me to embark. That's what it is. However, I can start exploring now. 
So I think next we'll go for optics. So we can start colonizing the islands around this one. Okay, you know what? Automate. That's that. It's not so much for beauty. And it might as well, it's only five turns. Somebody else is in the class clear right now. Alright, at turn 40 I will end this video. How about that? How does that sound? And you won't have to watch it anymore. You're so lucky. Alright, it's 1900 BC and I've already built two wonders. Can you see them? Golden Age, awesome. But can you see these things? I know you can see the pyramids. Where's the Temple of Artemis? There's some giant workers. I don't see the Temple of Artemis. Was that it? I don't know. That must be it. Unless that's part of this. Oh no, here it is. I found it. Why is it so far away? Why aren't these things in the city tile? Why are they outside of it? It's like I got some floating pyramids. A temple over the fallen sea. It's messed up. Okay. Onward to the next turn. Like I said, these turns just fly by. Oh man, I see some deals. Oh, no, I don't like that. Much. Get away. You're not welcome. Whatever that is. That's, um... I think that's either Japan or it's, um, Austria. And Austria is really cool. Austria can buy city-states. Like, after being allies with them for so long, you could just buy the city-state. Like, hey, I just hit my weapon. Again. Well. It's okay, when I get my snowball, it's going to be mounted on my, my desktop here. And uh, I won't be able to hit it, hopefully. <laughs> Too much, anyway. So, what am I going to go for next? Ooh, the Great Library. Definitely. Give me that. And I want the Great Lighthouse. What's the button for automate? E. Okay. Do your thing, Trireme. Sixteen hundred BC. So several centuries went by, and I built several wonders. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Well, thank you for watching, and oh, Die it is Austria. Die zu Österreich heißt eure Eminenz willkommen in. Ach, bringen wir es hinter uns. Um vier wird gespeist. What? What did you just say? Are you talking trash about me? Lady Maria Teresa of Austria? Yeah, I got nothing else to say. Uh-huh. Likely story. Likely story. What have you got uh, for trade over here? Pearl, yeah. of course. Yeah. I've got more money than you. So there's that. And, um... Okay, goodbye. Nice to meet you, I guess. So, it's turn 40, 41 now. Um, thank you for watching. 
and I will see you in the next video. Hopefully. And uh, if you haven't already, go check out my Guild Wars 2 videos, which are hopefully up. If they ever get uploaded, it, it's really slow. It's a really slow and long process of getting them uploaded. I've got like six different clips I'm trying to upload, and it's like ten hours just for one of the clips. So it'll be quite a while. In fact, it'll be quite a while for this video as well. They just take forever. It's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous amount of time. I can't help it. But I'll see you in the next video.